Hello. Hi guys. I'm Tatiana. I'm Angel. And we're the Makers HQ. Okay, right before we start, if this is your first time here, thank you for coming. And if this is not your first time, welcome back. <laughs> we want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to us. We're extremely happy. We can't thank you enough. And we just reached 500 subscribers. Ooh, yes. And we're like, oh my God. So yay. happy. So happy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you find any value in this video, please like and subscribe. Exactly. All right. So for today's video, we are going to be using HTV vinyl, which is uh, basically heat transfer vinyl on a t-shirt and we're going to layer it. So we're going to start with doing vinyl, a sublimation, and then more vinyl on top of that. All right, so let's get going. Okay. All right, so today we're going to be using two designs, all right? So one of them is uh, one of my cat illustrations and the other one is um, an old painting. And I want to say it's, uh, you know what? I just forgot the name of the artist. I just got a blank, we'll so it, yeah. I will put it and I will say it at some point as soon as it comes back to me, but it is a famous painting and I just completely forgot. So um, that's it. So basically what we're going to do is, if you've ever been on our channel before, we are a married couple and we just bought a sublimation or actually a heat press this year. So everything that we're doing, we are trying. But at this point, we do have more experience than we did at the beginning. Yes. And sometimes we'll try like completely new things to see what they're about. But in this case, we have done vinyl before. We've done um, using uh, vinyl before. We've also done sublimation on top of vinyl before. Yes. So now we just thought once we have those two skills, what is it that we can add to it? So it is to add another layer, like, uh, yeah, level of layering or layer to the sublimation, yeah, right? Yeah, an artistic view or an exactly. artistic way of doing things. Also, not only like, you know, you just do pictures on t-shirts, which is fine, but you can add, you can play. Exactly. Right? And in mm -hmm. this case, because we are artists, we're always looking at different ways that we can show our work as well as inspire others who are artists to do the same, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we'll go with, I think, um, will be the cat, okay? So we're gonna do it on a white t-shirt, and then we're gonna do this one on a black t-shirt. And the reason I say this is because for the cat, we are going to use some clear HTV, which goes on white or a light color, and for Coffee. the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, white, no, light, white or, cotton. Yeah, no, no, white or light cotton. No, it yeah. can go on... It can go on yeah, anything, but, but if it's, it's poly, yeah, but if it's you poly, you can just exactly. It, yeah. So on white cotton or light color, and in this one, we're gonna do it on dark. And I actually we did a video on uh, glow in the dark vinyl, mm -hmm. and I wanted to put this one on glow in the dark vinyl just because I thought it would add another layer to it. Like ima imagine at night if you're in somewhere and then you see like you glow in the dark and glitter and like so many things going on so yeah. i wanted to try it and i also like the feel of the glow in the dark vinyl it feels super nice yeah it feels, exactly yeah, it feels like the scissor it feels very uh, close to the yeah. scissor it has a matte something. finish it's exactly super cool. yeah. all right so let's get started okay so for the first design it's on the white t-shirt we're using clear htv uh, which is an HTV that just sticks on. It is kind of shiny. It's not my favorite because of the shininess, but I'm thinking that on the white, it's going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like my favorite one that we have, but that's the one that we have. So for the demonstration, it's perfect. And for this one, what we're going to do is going to just tack it on to the T-shirt for a few seconds with the matte side down. So with the shiny side up. Yeah. Okay, once it's ready, we're going to actually do the sublimation straight onto it and then continue, like basically do a regular sublimation onto it. And the temperature that we're using in this case is 200, which is 395 for five seconds. And then for the sublimation, wait, here you are. And then for the sublimation, we're doing a regular sublimation of 35 seconds. We're going on the lower time because we know that we're gonna be layering multiple pieces. So our reasoning is that we're gonna be like, everything's gonna be tacked on in the end anyway. 
And the second thing is, as always, make sure that you, um, you know, uh, press your t-shirt, uh, remove the lint, which is what we did, and then press, press the t-shirt mm -hmm. for about five seconds or so, okay? Mm -hmm. so, so we said 15, uh, five, five seconds, seconds to tack. Uh, yeah, three to five seconds just to tack it, mm -hmm. remove that, and then we can do the sublimation straight on There is on no it. peeling involved? Nothing, nothing. for this, for this HTV. Yeah, okay, here we go, five seconds. Medium pressure, not too tight. Okay, we're good. Five okay. seconds. And now, uh, the vinyl is attached to the... Yes, it has a little bit of things I find, no? It has a... What is like this? I don't know. Or maybe because it's hot? Maybe. And under was okay? It was a brand new paper. Mm -hmm. oh. it, it could be the paper. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is it. And now, this is the design. Flip it, because it's sublimation, right? We're gonna put it right here. So I cut it exactly the same size. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Even if you cut it bigger, it's, it's, uh, it's transparent, so it's clear, you can see it. I cut it a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's good. And this is gonna be 200 Celsius, 395 exactly. for 35 seconds. Which is just a regular sublimation, regular sublimation. press. We're back. Two, one. Up. Here we go. Here we go. This one. Dun, dun, dun. So pretty. Ah, uh, but you paper? see, our I don't know why. I don't it's know. our I don't paper. I don't think it's gonna stay. It shouldn't stay. Uh, this lines. I think it came from under. Okay. I don't know what to do with that. I think it's, we, we're gonna. Oh, look. It's super pretty. Yeah, it's very nice. I think maybe I'm hoping that what happens when we press it again, it mm -hmm. will flatten like out. It, yeah, flatten. So because of that, um, well, it is a test. So I'm happy with the result. I'm not happy with the lines, but we are going to let it cool down before adding the next piece, right? Yeah. Just to make sure. So okay, so let's go on to the next thing. All right, so for the black t-shirt, um, we are going to do it on glow-in-the-dark vinyl. And it's the same thing for this one. Uh, we did remove the lint and pre-press for five seconds. Now we are just going to tack it on five seconds at, two, at 200 Celsius, 395, and then just do the sublimation straight onto it for 30 seconds. Okay. okay. Five seconds, and then you just... And you just... Mm -mm. We need more? No. Okay, it's out. What a... This could stick... Catch so many flies. Look how nice... Look how nice it looks. So this is the glow-in-the-dark vinyl. You see how it looks. And then we're gonna stick the... The sublimation on it. And we do it right now. And regular... Sublimation, um, 35 seconds, 200 degree uh, Celsius, 395 Fahrenheit. Did it move? No. No. Okay. So, shall see you soon. We're back. With Three, the sublimation. Two, one, and <coughs> So this is on, on um, the glow in the dark vinyl. Oh, it's looking nice. Ooh, oh, wow. look at this. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it looks very nice. Wow. Glowing that wine on takes things very well. Yeah, it look does. Super good. Super nice. So now we are going to move to the other t-shirt that we already did like a few minutes ago because it's already cold or room temperature. And we're gonna start uh, adding the, um, the other vinyls, right? Yes. So for these, we've chosen to do a glitter vinyl as well as a perforated yellow vinyl and um, to add to the top. In this one, we're gonna add it, well, in both of them, we're gonna just add to each drawing or the painting 
to give it more like modern or just like some kind of like some mixed pop, media yeah, exactly mixed media pop uh, yes that's it look. and i did want to mention that if you are doing multiple vinyls or if you are doing sublimation on top of a vinyl there is one thing that you should think about or that you should consider is that because we are putting the things on top of something that's sticking on we don't do more than 45 seconds for the sublimation because you don't want the vinyl the glue to start breaking down so that's why we did in this case 35 seconds because we knew that we were going to add another 10 seconds um to add the other things on top okay exactly. uh it's not like the fastest like you have to do 35 and then 45 yeah. i'm just saying like don't do a sublimation that is going to take like yeah. a minute and a half for instance exactly. all right and also your vinyls that you choose to put on top usually require um they require like 10 to 15 seconds so if you choose all of all of them uh that you can sublimate at the same temperature it will be nice exactly and if you choose something that takes more time well that I don't know, but these ones are gonna be all of them. We're gonna do them at the, all same, at the same, time. same time. So it's 15 seconds or 10 seconds, and boom, yeah, that's it. Exactly. You know? All right. Okay. So for this design, we did add, um, we did make the sublimation itself uh, with like it was reversed, right? It was a mirror image. So now when we did the vinyl, the vinyl is not a mirror image because it goes right on top of the sublimation so that's something that you have to think about if you're going to do something similar to this is that you have to make sure that everything is what needs to be mirror image is mirror image and what needs to be like right side up is right side up in this case everything has a tiny plastic so we're going to add it and then um do the sub do the press and when we take it off we have to take everything off. We have to take the plastic off as well. Okay? So I'm doing it like this, like this, and like this. I think it's good. Did you have a you nicer see? idea? No, it's so pretty. Right? Very or nice. do I put it like this, kind of like? Yeah. No, yes, like this. Like this? Okay. Yes. So could you give me the I thing could, to yes. protect, please? So we're going to do it for 10 seconds. Okay? Okay. We're back. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm going to start taking the plastic off everything. Mhm. Mm it's hot, right? It's hot. This oh, wow. one. Oh, this one is super yeah, nice. Yeah, it's super Let me see pretty. If I can take this one. Oh, yes. This one. Yeah, 10 seconds, perfect. And this one. Wow. Lovely. Let me see. Uh-huh. Look. And her sunglasses are so cool. So nice. I love it. This is so nice. So, and, so as you can see, these tiny things that we did, like, they look like tape, right? So you don't need to stay inside the vinyl that you put before, because yeah. these are vinyl. So they are going to attach, they're going to stick to the t-shirt no matter what. So you can actually come out of the frame. Once you have the sublimation, you can work with these tiny vinyls anywhere you want, even outside, even if you want to put right in here or here. Uh, this, the clear vinyl was mostly to, you know, to blend the image. This was Anker's idea and it's fantastic. It looks super I love nice. It. No, this was your, your idea. No, the my idea, the, the tape was, the tape was, which was I thought was super cool. Yeah. Super nice. It looks like something it's, you would It's put because out. the vinyl looks yeah, like, exactly. like tape. It looks like bandages. Like, it looks I love super it. Nice. Okay, on to the next one. Success. Okay, so for these two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this to tack on for a few seconds because I want to put the flowers on top of them like this. And I want it to be layered, right? I'm going to give her a, a flower crown type of thing. And bra and... Exactly. Crown. And then yes. she's also... The she other one is things. also going to have um, a crown and they're just... You know, I have no problem with nudity. Uh, in this case, it's just to bling them up. So this is what it's going to look like in the end. So <laughs> because it is different layers, and if I were, I can't really put the yellow and the gold, because the we silver. Can, we, once you put the yellow and the silver together, there, there, there will be one that we can appeal. Exactly. So we need to peel the yellow, the yellow first, off. Exactly. Yeah, and then we add the other ones on top. So we're going to put this on, tack it on, just so, for a yeah, few seconds. 
and then peel it off and then we're able to just do Add the, the last from top. layer okay. yes cool perfect okay i think that's good yeah. And I put just two regular sheets of paper to protect the machine. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So the next pieces are the pieces of the outfits. Mm -hmm. They're getting dressed. They're getting dressed. So these, in case you're wondering, are... Oh, okay. So the name of the artist is Paul Gauguin. And these, if you're wondering, are um, at this point, they are creative commons because of the time between now and the artist's death. And so um, they, you can use them and you can use them and reproduce them uh, commercially as well. So I always used to see people using work and wonder like, where did it come from? And now that I still think it's nice to keep the integrity of the work for sure. But I also think that it's very, it's fantastic that we do have access to these people's work from the past and uh, we're able to modernize it in a sense. All right, so again, we're gonna do the sublimation for 35 seconds. What's, no, is this is Oh, seconds. my bad. <laughs> we're going to do it for 10 seconds, yeah, just, just so that it can come on <clears throat> and that's it, all right? So each person sublimate, uh, glitter or vinyl has a different time. Ours is 10 to 15 yes, seconds. Yes, I need something to cover it, please, Saya. Thank um, you. So, and you were like, no. no, it's just like unnatural. If it was, if I happened. was by myself, I, I would have gotten crazy. Money, I know. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Okay, perfect. There's no from, uh, from my, my inside. I know. They just, no. What if I was going to burn the whole thing? <laughs> okay, we're, we're back. back. So now you have to peel them off. Oh, and this one moved. What? Which one? This one. Mm. I don't mind though. It doesn't look horrible, but it did move. That's weird. Yeah. I think that's when you, you're supposed to tape things on. Okay. I don't mind just because it goes with the, yeah. the shape it's of the body. Of exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I kind of like that kind of look anyway. But do remember to tape it on if you're doing smaller pieces. And all of these, we do not have a Cricut. So all of these we did cut by hand. And they look fantastic. Look at this. <laughs> I see? love it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I love them. So funny. They oh, look, wow. Now they look completely different. Than they do. They, they look like they're going to a ball. Yeah. And they're bringing, they're bringing a platter. They're so bringing nice. treats to the ball. Perfect. I love them. This is a success. It's such hold a this, success. So this is a recap, the quick recap, because we did show you as we were doing them. These are the two t-shirts. I'm dun. so gonna wear these. This is not even a question. And- uh, You know how many things you can do with this? Yeah. Like, how many, um, I don't know, no artwork, like how much art you can make with yeah. this, in, with um, also with fabric or t-shirts or whatever fabric you have. Um, you can create so much with just so vinyl, much. mixing vinyl, sublimation, everything. I like think clear vinyl. It's like I it's think endless. people don't do don't realize how fresh vinyl is. Like it's super fresh. I, you don't have to be stuck on. Oh, we were thinking about doing this layering uh, video, and most of the videos that we saw, they were mostly like okay, involving letters, right? Like writing, uh, queen, whatever it is that you want to write. And they would just put different like, um, colors or shape. And that's fine. It's good. But it can get more artistic. It can of get, course. You can go deeper into it and be like, OK, where can I do this layering thing? I mean, at one point, Angel did say, for instance, what if we were to take a circle and make, bring it out? You know, I can put it right now. Like I can just cut a piece of vinyl and just add and it. Just add Even a if circle, you don't like something, you, know? you just go and keep adding stuff. Exactly. You can uh, layer it. And you can layer it as much as you need to which is what's the awesome part about it. It's awesome. It's it an awesome so idea. Cool. It's super cool. Yeah. 
So this is a success. A success. I we recommend, recommend you it. start uh, layering uh, vinyls. Yes. And that's it, right? That's it. So, so we'll see you on the, on the way out. All <laughs> yes. right. All right. As always, it's a blast being here with y'all. I really enjoy it when we do any of these tutorials. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section and we will answer them as best as we can. And um, that's it. So thank you for watching. If this video brought you any value, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.